What's up guys? Today is Friday. Finally! Friday, because y'all know what day it is. The best day of the week. It's Step On Friday. There's Hamilton. We all know he's the man. So let's see what he's got. Come on! Feels good in here. Snap on backpack. It's a backpack cooler. Hmm. That's for the drunk hiker, ain't it? Yeah. If you do a hitchhiking, don't carry a cold one with you. <laughs> you can do it. Well, pretty nice. They're pretty neat, though. I like you were to have that set up for demos. Yeah, I thought about that, too. Put us a half a case of Michelob Ultra in there and let's see. See how well they hold up. Well, and then we can test the durability of the zipper. Make sure it works, yeah. holds up like it's supposed to. <laughs> no doubt. I ain't got plenty of pockets on it for dang sure. Yeah. I ain't even really messed cool. with it too much. Pretty neat rig. You can carry your lunch in a 12 pack. <laughs> Put your sandwich in there. Get the essentials out of the way. <laughs> well, I figured you'd have sold this big joker by now. Ow. I got a guy who has a box that's identical to the exact same one. He was talking about it the other day. Just at first he started messing around. Then I think he was almost about to talk himself into it until his wife got on the truck. Uh oh. So we we give him another week or two and get back on him on that one. Them wives always throw kinks in the plans. They, they stop all the. Every time that's what I was saying the picture one time. So every time I start having my fun, my wife shows up. <laughs> So make sure ain't no fun around here. Ooh, she better not be. If she watches this video, you'll be wet. She'll have you in the pool. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> Guarantee. No doubt. How many more names you got to do before we draw for a speaker? Uh, we got one we scratched off. Uh, actually, I see him today, number 15, Case Bogue. Yeah. I got the first one. We still got what, one, two, three, four on this one. So, all right, I'm ready. You need to hurry. We're to have it done by next off. week. You what? I say you need to hurry and scratch my number off. Yeah, we'll probably have it done by next week, so we'll be good. <laughs> well, what new and exciting, cool tools you got this week? I, the only thing I got in this week was the coolers. I got like six or seven of them. And I think mother shipments actually was dropped off here, wasn't yeah, it? You got a pallet in there. Yeah, yeah. Monday. I don't yeah. know what's in. I started to cut it open. Just or check it out. It, you know? Yeah. I call you and say, hey, I'm going to keep this, this, and this. Yeah. Just go ahead and bill me for it. Yeah, they, uh, I knew I was getting the freight shipment in, so I didn't, I didn't get much to the house this week because I'll be on the freight. Cool. So we'll both be surprised. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, we seen the picture of the long neck. The brushless. brushless. I seen the picture of it. When they when they coming out? I hope I, I, let me see if I can look that up real quick and see on that one. Get us some inside info on when they're coming. Yeah, that cooler's pretty sharp, man. Yeah. I ain't even seeing what the number would be. I can find out, though. I can look on that text that I had. It's uh, yeah. CTR. 867W1. That's what I've typed in to figure where to be, but it's not pulling up yet. Keeping it here, ain't they? Yeah. You see what happens when I hit the seven, so all the everything disappears. Yeah, I seen that picture out. There it is. So we know it's available, or well, about to be at least. Fixing to be. That's bad when I get snuck inside info. No doubt. Like keeping it from you. <laughs> well, that's not uncommon right there, though, with Snap On. <laughs> that's usually how we find out stuff is with our customers. Customers. They had text. So I need this right here. Like, I don't even know what that is. Oh, I seen it online somewhere. So they still ain't saying what they're going to do, though. CT861, mm -hmm. the brushless. I check it weekly just to see. And it, 
don't pop up either. Man, they holding on to that, ain't they? They must That's be trying to get rid of all of their regular ones. They must have a, they must have these stocked up <laughs> to the ceiling so. somewhere and be like, well, probably so. Let's get rid of these and then we'll. So or maybe they're just trying to get a big stack of, more the new of brushless ones. I figure the three eighths probably be towards the end of the line on all the brushless stuff. Yeah. Because uh, there's not a very big fail rate. Well, they don't have a very very big fail rate on any of them hardly anymore. I figure what would be next with a quarter inch. What do you, uh, so how's the new brushless half inches doing? They're doing pretty good? The, I've sent two off and both of them it was because of a broken anvil. Wow. Uh, that's the only two problems that I've had out of any of them so far. Uh, of course we're getting trade-in. This is the 8850, which has been around a long time. That's a trade-in. People mm -hmm. trading in for them. Every time I get a brushless, they, I mean, they're gone fast. Yeah. People, they've been they've been very good. I've heard of other people saying like they might have got a weak one or something like that when they first came out, mm -hmm. but they redone them because it was the uh, CT uh, 8020, I think, then went to the 8025. Let me double just to be sure on that one. Now that one's brushless also, ain't it? The, that no. generation? They're not? No, it's brushed. So is the new one the only brushless one they got or did they upgraded the brushless one already, hadn't they? Yeah, they've upgraded the brush. That's what I was already. thinking. Yeah, I said 80-20. It's the CT-9075 was the first brushless one. That's the ones that I've right. sent back, the two I sent back with a broken anvil. Uh, and I've heard, I didn't get very many of them before they swapped to the 90 mm -hmm. Um But I've heard that they did have a few problems where they was, was running batteries down super fast or something. I don't know. But they swapped something in them because then they changed it to the CT9080. And uh, I don't think that they have a, a very big fail rate Just at all. Just made them a little better, changed yeah, a little something in they them. They look identical. I I don't know. Of course, it's probably something on the inside, I imagine. And it could have been just something of the, they might change the anvil length on it or change the Chip mixture in it. Yeah, something. something. I reckon everybody's yeah. having trouble getting those chips for everything anything yeah you know i've seen where gms backing down production and pack cars canceling orders because they can't get enough components to build the trucks and yeah they uh it's crazy man yeah somebody i've seen videos of like in kentucky at the forward place up there at the racetrack they said there's full, thousands yeah, of them full of trucks uh, i think they got the chevrolets somewhere in louisiana said there's thousands of them in uh, parking lots there'll be there. a bunch of which i imagine what they'll do is instead of being a 21 model it'll change it to the 22 model i don't yeah, know go throw a new sticker on the either that or there'll or something. be a whole bunch of cheap 21 models that's brand yeah. new when they finally release them they uh i think like there's one or two models of the Hyundai's like that, and uh, a couple different brands or makes models. This should of be a lesson to all the car companies: like build your own freaking chips. Yeah, don't depend you know? on overseas stuff. Uh, quit, quit messing with it. Yeah, they. Uh, what else? I mean, there is all type of machines that use the same chips that the vehicles are using. Because mm -hmm. I was looking, I was wanting to get an ice machine put in my shop, and not a big one, probably like a, I don't know. 150 pound or 100 pound yeah. the one that somebody showed me was like a 500 pound which is way too big <laughs> but they said they couldn't even get it because there's chips the chips is yeah. i was like i didn't know that they even had chips in them mm -hmm. but i guess in the programming on the cpu part of it it's crazy uh, man everything like flashlights you know they all got them little <coughs> chips and junk in it well that yeah got the strain no. lights the battery operated yeah. i can get all day every day the rechargeable ones I can't get right now. I've ordered them. Uh, actually, I did. I'm going to tell off myself about I ordered like three of them on Amazon because uh, people got them that are broke and I can get them through the Amazon, but mm -hmm. they cost a lot more because uh, I think we sell them pretty close to what Amazon's prices are. It makes it hard on you if you can't get the stuff people need, you know? Yeah. Well, like most folks would rather have the rechargeable. Yeah. Uh, and if you got a couple of them, I see why. Mm -hmm. You ain't never dead then. But, uh, yeah, it's just crazy how it is. <laughs> I seen the other day, or somebody something, something that there's like over a hundred or five hundred. I don't know, but a bunch of cargo ships out on the east and west I coast. I seen that where they was just having a dock out in the middle of the ocean. They're not they even letting them land in. on yeah. the. Yeah, not even letting them dock at shore. 
Well, don't you know that would suck to be working on one of them shit? Just stuck out there? Be stuck. Like, <laughs> but yeah. But I think what I was on, like, auto parts, is, I know they said there's tons of auto parts on them. Yeah. You know there's tractor parts and tractors. I know I talked with one of the tractor places. They said that they can't get tractors because they're told that they're shipped, but they would not arrived. So they know that they're out in the ocean out there just floating around. Just waiting to get unloaded? Just waiting to be sold. Oh, well. I guess we'll deal with it until we... Well, there ain't can. no shortage of picks and seal. Uh, O-ring seal remover. O-ring tools. We got plenty of them. Everybody needs a pick set or yeah. three. <laughs> <laughs> At least one of each color, huh? Yeah. That's true. Well, if, I guess if that's all y'all having trouble getting is the uh, impacts and stuff like that, it ain't too bad on the snap-on side. Yeah, well, I mean, we've been getting most of our stuff. It just ain't getting as many as, like, if you order three or four of them, you might not get three or four of them. Yeah. But, the, yeah, there's a lot of stuff that's just it's frustrating when you order stuff and then it says there's zero in stock. Mm -hmm. And uh, I did talk to one of the Snap-on people because I had a customer that wanted a, right now in the system, like, all our ratchets is showing red. You yeah. go to any other color, and you can see some green, but, like, the yellow is not even showing zero at all. I had a customer, he was going to call Snap-on and got upset, and she's like, no, we got some. She said, we can, I can take your card and everything over the phone, and uh, he ordered them, so they sent him to them. They, I mean, credited my account and everything for them. So I called, he could tell me about it. He was a little bit upset with me. I was like, dude, I showed you on my computer where it says zero yeah. in stock. And uh, I called and talked to somebody, and they said that they're doing that on some of them to hold them there so if a customer calls in that they got some that they can sell online or whatnot but they're not oh. sending them out well that's real good they screw the dealer that pays the franchise fees a year yeah way to go snap on well the same with my windshield up here you see my windshield yeah. correct i talked to well all the auto glass places that i go by in my route i talked to all them and nobody can get a windshield i called freightliner they was like well we got some in stock but we can't sell one to you because it's just cracked like what do you mean you can't sell it but we don't have very many of them in stock, and we got to have them. So, like, would we ship new trucks? I guess being a flat glass that they can crack real easy if they get hit by a rock or something, so they can replace their own before they. Like, that's the. Is it, is it busted or just cracked? Next time I call, it's going to be busted. Yeah, I'm gonna tell I'd them. say, well, you know, I can stick my hand through there and change my wiper blade. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know. You can classify it however you want to, but yeah. I kind of need one. Yeah, next time I'm, I'm just going to tell them about it. That's what I told them. I said, I'm going to give it about a month. I'm going to call them back and tell them, hey, my windshield's busted. I need one. And then that way they will. Uh, a thunder chicken going down the road. Yeah. <laughs> For you guys up north that may not know what a thunder chicken is, that's a turkey. Yeah. So. And you will hit them going down the road if you ride around them, though. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to get back in here and finish up our day and look forward to the weekend. So, Finally. That's it. It's done. It's over. You guys pop a top and have a good weekend. Kick back. That's it. Like always, guys, thanks for hanging out with us. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes down here. If you're not subscribed, take your finger, click that button. It's that easy. You guys have a great weekend. See ya.